whole family up, the, the God's going to laugh. That sounds good, too. Y'all ain't following the ways of the Lord out here. The Lord shall have them in derision. So the Lord going to have you in derision. He's going to laugh at you. You're going to be in derision. Keep then going. shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sour displeasure. So the Lord, he's going to vex you in his sore displeasure. He didn't say the Lord is going to read some poetry to you and give you a hug and a kiss. He didn't say that. He's going to give you some roses, some fucking candies and flowers. Sing Kumbaya. He don't say that. Go sit around. Let's hold hands. Let's get in a solidarity circle, everybody. Come on. Solidarity, right? We're gonna vex the shit out of these motherfuckers, man. They gonna wake up thinking, oh man. Yeah, the Lord ain't. Yeah, the Lord ain't coming back to give no group hug. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a fucking. Yeah, it's gonna be a group hug on the missiles. You hug a missile. And homosexuals should like missiles, though. They shape like penises. Yes, yes. They should like them. Hey, it's good destruction out here. Revelations 9 and uh, 15. And the fourth angel was loose, which were open, which were, uh, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to, to slay the third part of man. Well, that's talking about World War I. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, Isaiah 66 and 15. Yeah, that's talking about World War One right there. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind. But this is what's going to come. When the Lord, the Lord's about to come back out the sky with his chariots. Keep going. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord gonna destroy these fools with fire. He gonna destroy these fools by fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be men. Hey, somebody give me. So yeah. I'll go ahead. Yeah, because first the Lord, at first the Lord destroyed the earth by water. And now he's gonna destroy it by fire. Now, so the Bible said the slain of the Lord shall be many. It, it, is, it didn't say the Lord's just going to kill a couple people. You know what I mean? He's just, just going to kill Cain and, you know, just kill like two guys. He said he's going to be many people going to be slain. He's just going to kill the Antichrist. Because he's going to love everybody else. Right. The Lord, man. The, the scriptures say, uh, there shall be few that shall be saved. Few shall be saved. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Yeah, so the people that trouble us, they're going to get destroyed. It's like uh, the elite. The people that are... Uh, so, uh, it's so goddamn loud out here, man. I can't think. So all, all the people out here doing all this wickedness on the earth, starting with Esau, starting with the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, and the, uh, all these royal, royal elite families, they trouble us, man. They're the ones behind all, all these all these unjust laws, man. Charging usury on the people, always charging usury, charging your rent. They take all your money. You, you can't get no money in this place. Man. Uh, Galatians 5 and 10. I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubles you shall bear of his judgment whosoever he be. Trouble us, they're gonna get recompensed. Galatians 5 and 10. I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. Yeah, so that can be a lot of motherfuckers, you know. And it goes first to go to the uh, the people that control the society. Go to Esau, go saw them damn politicians, like Mayor Bloomberg. 
man Bloomberg said that all the cops should go on strike so all the Americans give up their guns. Which actually that's a good idea. That'd be awesome. It'd be fucking awesome. You just think if there was no cops, you know how awesome that would be? We'd be living in paradise. We'd be in paradise. The bitches, they'd be screaming and crying, but we'd be snatching bitches up. It'd be great. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, see, you see that? That's just that he's the elite, man. This dude's the mayor of New York. That tells you how fucked up these people are in the head, man. He actually wants, he, he wants chaos to break out. He wants people to die. Because he, he looks at the average person. Like we're a pe like we're a slave, a piece of shit. Mm, we're expendable. You right, know what I mean? Right. Because the goal of the elite, anyway, is to exterminate eighty percent of the world's population. Even his own people. That, that, that's stated fact. That's a fact. That's a Edomites too. That's, yeah, Edomites they kill his own people. Don't give a fuck. Right. Second Ezra fifteen and twenty one. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom, thus said the Lord Power. I mean, book is talking about nothing but payback, man. What, you gonna turn back your cheek? No, man, no, I can't do that, man. Yep. You gonna get killed your goddamn self. The Lord gonna take care of you. Hey, get Mark 16 and 16. Mark 16 and 16. That's one of my new favorites. Mark 16 and 16. I wonder why you take my picture. You work for the FBI. Yeah, who you work for? You work for the FBI? Yeah, CIA. you guys are working with, man. No, he's just fucking taking pictures for someone. Mark 16 to 16. Well, well somebody don't want to talk to you, I don't trust him. You know? If he asks people questions and they're taking pictures of you, they don't want to talk to you, I don't trust him. Yeah, right. Yeah, we got some then why would you want a picture when we're right here and you can talk to us? They act like we don't actually like we're not really here. It's like we go to the zoo, we take a picture of the lion. Like. Whatever the motherfuckers say, their intentions are when they develop those pictures, man. I hope, I pray to the Heavenly Father that curses come about the picture. You see how disassociated people are, how disconnected people are? There it is. It's like people can't even interact with each other no more. No more. Hey, hey man. little brother, yo, what's up, bro? He just that, came up and started taking like, pictures and like, shit. If you want to talk to someone these days, you have to get on Twitter. No more face-to-face -face conversations. Right. And it's going to be like Demolition Man, that movie Demolition Man. Soon, if they ha if these devils had it their way, the only way we can have sex would be through a computer or something. Demolition Man. We're in with, uh, 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 Sylvester Stallone. Oh, Sylvester Stallone's son oh, yeah, died. Okay. Hey, that's what Sylvester Stallone get. His son just dropped dead. <laughs> and that's good. Right, Cause you're right. a wicked ass, faggot ass Israelite. He was probably fucking his son. He probably did. He looked like he's got all kind of dicks in him. He probably died from the sperm overdose. You know what I mean? Look, Maybe. he put his camera up now. He ain't even taking pictures no more. What was that? Uh, uh, I forget. He was the little kid that was in Rocky Five. Son, but he dropped dead, but that's good. So the Lord's bringing nothing but death on you, motherfucking Israelites, man. There's gonna be more and more and more and more death coming to your children, to all your loved ones. If you if you if you if you don't get right with the Most High and get out here and confess the name of the Lord, you, you, you're damned. The Lord's gonna destroy you and your whole family. Hey, get that scripture I told you. Mark 16. Oh, this is an all time. You were talking about Hall of Fame scripture. It's a Hall of Fame scripture. Read that. Mark 16 and 16. He that believes in his baptism. You gotta read that louder than that, bro. Yeah, you gotta blast that, baby. You gotta blast it. Mark 16 and 16. He that believes in his baptized shall be saved. So if you believe in his truth, the Lord's gonna show compassion on you and he's gonna save you. Keep going. But he that believes not shall be damned. Read that again. <laughs> Mark 16 to 16. He that believes in his baptized shall be saved. So if you believe on the Son of God, you're going to be saved. Bet your ass you're going to be saved. Keep That's going. Right. But he that believes not shall be damned. So if you don't believe in his truth, you're damned. It doesn't mean you're going to go to hell, no. It means you're going to be destroyed. It means the Lord's going to jack you up, he's going to jack your family up, and he's, he's, he's going to just ruin your life and then destroy you. He gonna send all kind of curses and demons on you. That's what being damned is. Damn. You might, yeah, go. You might hear this truth rejected, then go get sick and drop dead. You know what I mean? 
That's how the Lord does it. Or you might walk in the street and get hit by a coda bus. You know what I'm saying? That's and how get the, dragged. Yeah, and they get dragged down the street alive. Yeah, you, you might stay alive for a couple of hours with no legs. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the kind of terror the Lord will bring on you when you reject his truth. Especially when you reject his beloved son. When you reject the son of the most high, there's nothing worse the most high hates more than when you reject his son. There's nothing worse, there's nothing worse. When you reject the son, when you reject Christ, the Lord rejects you. You get rejected. Here he was a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Ain't none of these assholes sacrifice shit. Yeah. They came to sacrifice five hours of fast. Hey, no, five yeah. hours. Two hours. Yeah, the average person out here would never lay down their life for their brother. It would never happen. Never. That brother, they'd cry like a bitch. You know what I mean? They got put in that life and death situation, they'd cry like a bitch. And they'd try to just protect themselves and let everybody else die. The Lord ain't do that. I get Hebrews 1. Hebrews 1 and 1. We'll just read that. It's being the heart and the spirit today. Hebrews 1 and 1. Because that goes into it. The Lord don't like him when you reject his son, man. Because people will be like, well, there's only one God, so how you going to... Look, you're, you're an idiot. You don't understand how the heavens operate. There's order in the heavens. Okay? As this should be ordered here. So if you believe the Most High, the Most High said to believe in the Son, you jackasses. Right. He's the one who made the Son. Are you stupid? Hebrews 1. Hebrews 1. The Most High, who has sundry times and in diverse manners Spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. So yeah, back in the old days, before uh, before Yahusha was born, the one you called Jesus, before he was born, the prophets like Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, they prophesied to the people, people like Samuel. And they brought the word of the Lord to the people. Whatever the Lord had to say, he would use the prophets to say it to the people. Because God don't talk directly to all the people. They don't go down like that. Okay, keep going. The Most High, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days now spoken. In, all right, and now in these last days, which we in the last days, keep going. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Oh, so now the Lord is speaking through us to his son, through his son. So, so. So the, the son of the Most High is li just like one of the prophets, but greater, okay? Because now we in the last days. So, th so now he sent the son to redeem Israel. Keep going. Because the man shows that say the son of the prophets the same preacher too. Yeah, it does cut that. Yeah. So that, for those people to say uh, Jesus is God, that disproves that right there. That's right. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed Heir of all things. So the Lord, so the Most High God appointed His Son to be heir of all things. So that's why you got to do what the Most High said. He said, believe in my Son, for this is in whom I am well pleased. Mm. Okay? Mm. Whom He has appointed heir of all things, by whom also He made the worlds. So the, the, everything was made by the Son. Like, like that, what's that scripture in Colossians? Everything was made by him and for him. It was made by him and for him. Okay, because Christ is not God. He is the son of God. He was he was created. He's a created being. The son of the power. He's the most powerful created being in existence. That's right. Ain't no dispute with that. You don't even have to dispute that. There's no dispute with that. But somehow they're bringing down to our level, man. It breaks it down to that. Yeah. Keep reading. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image so, of his person. So, so the sun is the brightness of the Most High's glory. Mm. So the Most High sent his son to teach us, okay? Because like he said, if you've seen the Father, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Because the, he's sent by the Father. People can't wrap their head around it. That's good. It goes actual rose. If the Lord don't reveal it to you in the spirit, you ain't going to get it anyway. 
And if you ain't getting it, that means you ain't on that spiritual vibration anyway. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins. So that's right, because Yahweh Shai, the son of God, he has the power to forgive people of their sins because he was given that power from the Most High. Yep. Sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. So he's on the right, just like uh, uh, Psalms, uh, what's that, 110? Some, give me Psalms 110. Real quick, fast. Psalms 110. Keep going. We'll Being back. made so much better than the angels. So he was made better than the angels. As he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. They might, meaning, that's what it means is this. It's telling you there's order in the heavens. There's order and structure in the universe. The universe is not a, a place of chaos like a scientist will tell you. You got order. First, you got the Most High, the Creator, the, the, the Most High. You got Yahweh. Then you have His Son. And then under the Son, you have the angels. And then under the angels, you have King, the King David. And then under King David, you have uh, you have bishops. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Um, for unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son this day have I begotten thee so and again yeah that's, so that's why you're supposed to do it uh, how I said most high said this is my son well, who else you know on the planet that the most high said this is my son my only son that's like that's like you ever watch the Godfather movie when the Godfather say this is my son you gotta do what he say <laughs> I mean that's the same spirit you gotta do what my son say. If you don't do it, there's gonna be hell to pay. You don't hear none of this saying, oh my, this is my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> but people can't grasp their mind around that. They're like, well, how come, well, God, God doesn't need a son. Well, this is my woman. You know the I this guess, is my son, he said. That's his son, his only begotten son. Oh. <laughs> and they say he's made uh, better than the angels, meaning what? He's super powerful. You, get, you know how powerful an angel is? One angel can destroy the whole planet. That's right. Destroy. So, he, so they have the power to create and destroy. That's right. Even an angel has power to create. The Super Saiyans. Kind of like Silver Surfer. You ever read a Silver Surfer comic book? Silver Surfer like create matter out of thin air. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And Galactus gave him power. Oh yeah, Galactus would form matter out of air. Well, that, I mean, the angels have that kind of power. They can form matter out of nothing. Scripture. Jack the Scripture. Well, well, Jack Kirby created, Jack Kirby created a Fantastic Four. He created Galactus and the Silver Surfer. And he said, he, his, he got the idea for the Silver Surfer from the Bible. He said the Silver Surfer was an angel. That's what he said, Silver Surfer is based on the angels. Yeah. And again. Hey, I'm not making that up. Right. And again. I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of the Most High worship him. So even the, even the angels bow down to your outside. Cause why? Because the angels, they follow the Most High. The Most High said, this is my son. You follow him. That's a commandment. You, you don't go against the commandment of the Lord. You know, you know, the angels, he said, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He just quoted Psalms 104 right there. Yeah, he said the angels are spirits. Oh, that just proves fallen angel theories. Is how can spirits have sex with people? Right. But the angels are spirits. Producing seed. Yeah, they don't have seed. Just like, just like yeah, Christ tells you uh, angels don't give it in marriage. But, uh, it also said his ministers are a flame of fire. Who's the ministers? That's us. And nothing but pure fire is coming out of our mouth. Oh. Nothing but we're like fire breathing dragons out here. People walk by, they get burned up. Well, if they ain't right, they get burned up. And if they are right, they get baptized by that fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's fire we speak. The book of Jeremiah says, is not, is not my word like fire? And like a rock, to, uh, like a hammer to break a rock into pieces? Keep going. Yeah, I hate these damn cocoa books. This is an abomination. Oh, it's 
fucking up my team. Need to go back on strike. Yeah, y'all need to go back on strike. He got his toy selection up his ass. <laughs> But I was really thinking we should get like a camera and go around and just film all these messed up looking people and then cut the edit the video up and make it look like a zombie outbreak. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. I mean, it really looks like a, you can make a zombie movie. You can make a low budget zombie movie just by, by getting shots of people like that. He looked like he got fucked up in Fukushima. What's up? You believe in the Bible? You get hit by the radiation in Fukushima. Y'all Bible believers? Believe the Bible. Either one. The Antichrist? You have sex with your dog? But unto the sun, he said. Oh, we're good. I know he gotta go to work. We're good, we're good. But unto the Son, he said, Thy throne, O power, is forever and ever. A separature of righteousness is the separature of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, Most High, even thy power, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou, rem thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as doth a garment. Oh yeah, so all these fools up here, oh, the Bible's not true. Well, guess what? You're gonna die, and the Bible's gonna keep on living. <laughs> you're gonna be dead, and everybody's gonna forget about you, but they ain't gonna forget about the Bible. Ain't that funny? <laughs> I worry you think about it. Oh, the Bible's bullshit. No, you're bullshit. Because when you die, the Bible's still here. And as a vesture shall fold them up, and they shall be changed. But they are the same, and they years shall not fail. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool? Yeah, so that's what Yahweh Shah's on the right hand side of the Most High. And he's the son of the Most High, you know what I'm saying? He was the one who was uh, appointed heir to the universe. Right. Not just the planet Earth, because the mo you know, them goddamn Mormons, they'll say that uh, Christ was appointed this solar system, or something crazy like that. Yeah, you actually got people to teach that. Like, right. Right. Well, there's, there's a Christ for each solar system. Right. Right. There's, and people actually teach madness like that. And you gotta cover it, because people actually believe that. Because this scripture said that the whole universe was given to the sun. I was about to say the same thing. John 14 says, my father has many mansions, many solar systems, many planets. Yeah, John 14. And Christ, yeah, and Christ said, I'm gonna go and prepare a place for you. I ain't heard it so long, I forgot where it was. I wanna hear it anyway. Oh yeah, go ahead and read it. Yeah. That's one of my favorite scriptures, man. That, you know. We on that cosmic level right now. We speaking cosmic truths out here. Cause I'm always daydreaming, man. I'll at night sit down just looking up at the stars, man. Like, you know, working and working, meditating on the scripture. Dreaming, you know what I'm saying? Just meditating, so I can talk to scripture, man. Looking up. Thinking about going out on Saturn's rings and hanging out. Go some inbreds. Yeah, right. yeah, I always said it'd be nice to go out in the middle of outer space in the middle of nothing and just meditate for a while. Just chill, just float. Yeah, just float with nobody around, nobody. I don't want to see nothing. Yeah, leave that woman at home. You gotta leave her at home. She'll fuck it up on top of you. That gets a real silence out there. Yeah, she'll okay. run her mouth. Do you really want me out here with you? Oh, good God. They ask dumbass questions, man. It's impossible to meditate this shit, man. Right, right. Somebody always come through and fuck you up. I'll be sitting at home trying to meditate and trying to get some peace. Goddamn Jehovah Witness and knock on the door. Oh, right, that's what the Lord said. Ain't gonna be no peace. So, hey. John 14 and 1. Let not your heart be trembled. Come on, man. Believe in God. Believe also in me. That's, how, well, that's what we tell people. You can't be troubled. Don't be worried. People, a lot of people, they hope. They feel like they're hopeless. They feel like life is hopeless. 
Life's, life's, uh, life does suck. It's awful. It's terrible. Maybe. Don't feel hopeless. Keep going. In my father's house, a many mansions. So they said in a in Yahweh Shah, the son of God, he said, in my father's house are many mansions. Now, that's not talking about actual mansions. It's talking about solar systems and galaxies. It's like some broke down shit here on Earth that's going to be wild away anyway. Because where's the Father's house? The Bible says that the Earth is the Most High's footstool. So where's his house if this is his footstool? It's not on the Earth. Keep going. Uh, if it were not so, I would not have told you. So he said if it was not so, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be lying. He's like, I'm not lying to you. Keep going. And we, and we know it's a fact now because well, they've been known as a fact. We know for a fact there's other galaxies out there. There's all kind of... It, the universe goes on forever. Keep going. I go to prepare a place for you. Now, so Yahweh Shai said he goes to prepare a place for us. That means he's not just in this solar system. He's all through the universe. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. So he's, he's going to come again. He's going to come back. The scriptures always said he made it clear for, for right from the get that he was going to leave and we was going to be on our own, but just with the spirit. We weren't going to be on our own. He left the Bible with us. He said, I'm going to send you the comfort. Okay. Yeah, I also that, uh, everybody, uh, when you die, you don't go to the spiritual world. You don't go where, you don't go to the pearly gates, how they would say. Oh, uh, yeah, ain't no pearly gates. It says that where I am, that you may also be. Yeah, because so right. we're not we're not there right now. That means when he come back, so. It's right. First he said, the first he said, I'm going to a place where y'all cannot come and follow me. Somebody after he died and left the earth and all that. But now he's saying, now when he comes back, then you're gonna come with me. Now you can go where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead. Uh, second answer, two and thirteen. I'm going to start at 12. They shall have the tree of life for an appointment of sweet Savior. They shall neither labor nor be weary. That tree of life is this, uh, this, but actually the tree of life is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said that he, he is the vine and we are the branches. And that book of Jeremiah said we uh, plant, planted down by the, uh, we're a tree planted by them good rivers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep going. Second answer is 2 and 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. So yeah, we pray, we, oh, my fault. we pray that the days are short. We pray every day that the Lord come and destroy all this shit. Keep going. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. So Y'all ain't watching. You gotta watch. You gotta watch for the kingdom. Keep going. Take heaven and earth to witness. For I have broken the evil in pieces and created the good. For I live, said the Lord. So the Lord's gonna break all these heathens to pieces. Start starting with Esau. So Esau, you're gonna get broke to pieces. Your whole system's gonna be destroyed. This whole country's gonna be destroyed. This whole new world order is gonna be destroyed. All right, so we, we're gonna end that teaching on that note right there. We're gonna let y'all know Babylon's soon to be destroyed. The Lord ain't dealing with you fools. If you had, I know we sound rough, but don't feel offended. The Bible says, blessed is he who's not offended, okay? Who was that? Paul said, my brother's not Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, if you know this truth, go there and teach the Bible, you know what I mean? Paul, Paul said that I may tear, he said, I hope that I don't terrify you by letters. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Actually, he ain't no looking. Well, that's so, what I mean, any way you can push, push the truth, push the truth, man. Uh, make YouTube videos, make up home videos, street videos, you know what I mean? Just keep making videos, keep pushing truth. Ma keep cursing your family out. If your family ain't right, curse them out. If your boss ain't right, curse your boss out. Fuck the world. Praise the Lord. Wow, that get the whole channel deleted.